evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the middleweight division between Manny Pacquiao and the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Targeting that head with the combination punching. We know what Pacquiao can do with that big left hand of his, but his opponent can also bring the thunder. Yeah, sooner or later you're going to get tested in those areas, in the area of chin. Manny knows he has a good chin, but the key here is not to show it, not to expose it too much. Combo lands to the head. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Manny Pacquiao. And he stays downstairs. Nice defense, good block by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Good counter punch by Manny Pacquiao. And I love the way he delivered that, Teddy. Yeah, he's using his feet to set up his offense. You don't always see that, but you see it there. The way these two are going at it early on, they're gonna break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Double jab by Oscar De La Hoya. Scored well up top. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Combination to the head. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Super two-punch combo by Oscar De La Hoya. He just missed that shot up top. So the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back in Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter, we're able to pick up that insurance. But the thing that I want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort. It's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people. Dave Ahoya able to block that punch. Double jab upstairs. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Keep that head moving. A crushing two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. And now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. There's a straight right hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. Perfectly executed combination. Oscar De La Hoya's down. He's going to have to beat the count. Two. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. The final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. He missed with that headshot. 
Pacquiao's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Dave Ahoy is heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are under him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place, and the referee's going to stop, and his opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's got to do is test him out a little bit. So now you know how to go about surviving the round. Do you just stay on the ropes and move your head, or do you use your bicycle? Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Manny Pacquiao. Good combination. Hook into the body with the left, and then going up top with the right. Carries that punch intended for the head. Keep moving, Halfway keep moving, through this round. Pacquiao <laughs> so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Now this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Well-targeted 1-2 by Manny Pacquiao. Not able to land the headshot. Manny Pacquiao able to land a huge uppercut. Dave Hoy is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Teddy's got this fight three to zip. That's easy to see. Pacquiao's been the more active guy. If you throw more punches, you're going to earn the judge's respect. As long as the other guy's not landing the cleanest shots, even though he's not as active. But this is the kind of fight where he's just busier, he's doing more, and that's carrying the rounds. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Manny Pacquiao. De La Hoya's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek -a defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's going to come back. To the head he goes and lands well with the right hand left hook combo. Oh, what a left hand. Solid. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. Two, three, four, five. So an immediate question to be answered by Oscar De La Hoya. How will he turn things around? He just got knocked down. Now he's looking to continue on. You know, Joe, we know he has a great jab. We know he has good speed. We know that he has a great smile. Now we're going to find out exactly what kind of heart he has. <laughs> well, he missed that one. On the wrist. Big shot. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. One. Two, 
three, four, five, six. Let's go. Dave La Hoya's got a lot of guts to get up after being knocked down, but he does not look good at all. Good shot to the head with that right hand. And a nice combo by Manny Pacquiao. And bang, and away he goes. Oscar De La Hoya down. He is down. It came out of nowhere in Florida. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The ref is stopping this fight. Manny Pacquiao's bombs away worked again. Knockout for him.